Good day to everyone from CashButter.com because nothing makes you more excited. On today's video, I'll be going over a casino game walkthrough on Misplay, one of the best semi-passive way to earn units and XP. Thank you for joining me today. If you like what you're seeing, please make sure you give a little bit to the like, share, and subscribe button down below. If you have any questions, tips, comments, post them in the comment section now. Casino games are one of the best ways semi-passively and without cheating technically to earn units and XP on a misplay and I decided to make a video focusing just on those types of games to show you how to leave it leave them running for a bit on your phone and how to make them work now your list of casino games might be a bit different than mine I actually had a few of them drop off strangely enough so I might make another one of these might not but we'll see so let's get started here I have quite a few games to go over. So let's start all the way here to the right. Start with Cashman Casino, which is pretty low on the paying scale, only half a unit and one for XP. So here we go. Now some of these, after a while, you will just you just, you will just run out of money. You will, because you'll leave them running, and then you'll run a you'll, just like in a real casino, you'll run into a string of bad luck. You just keep losing and losing and losing, and you're out of cash. So what would you do at that point? At that point, you will just keep opening up the casino game at least once every day, if not every few hours, to try and I will not do that to try and get your rewards for free coins. So here we go. Here's the cash man. Da da da. da. 38,000. Oh, come on, give me more! 38,000 again. Let's close this nonsense, huh? Now, this has a lot of actual real casino games. Let's go to Buffalo. As you'll see, the bets are still even at 15,000 minimum. It goes pretty damn fast. So, even with a million coins, I'll run out in probably a few minutes, actually. So, let's try this out. So in this one, you just hold the spin button for auto spin. And this one is pretty dang passive. All you have to do is just leave it here, and you can't just go. You can't just walk away unless you win one of these little pro, uh, jackpots on the right. So yeah, then you just leave it going like this as you keep earning XP. So, pretty simple. Uh, very, very minimal interaction required with this one. So, definitely recommend it on there. Then you hold this to stop. There you go. All right. Let's go to the next one. Hit it, Rich Casino. It's a little bit better. Two units, one XP. This one... By Zynga. Hi, why is it keep moving the cash one logo? That's probably me. So this one has mostly their own games. With a few real ones. I can tell you that for sure since I just I, I came back from Vegas and I, I do those slot machines. Because of free drinks. So anyway, so here we go. Starting the game again. Get my free coins. I forgot to mention this previously, but minimum bet. Minimum bet is your best friend. There's not gonna, You're not making any money off of these games. So don't spend any of your money trying to get freaking coins. It's It would be counterproductive. So with this one, I like using the game Ted. This one is... Uh, this game does require, unfortunately, one of the more... It's one of the least passive games there are because... Auto spin is here, but you can only do up to 100 auto spins. Of course, you say you just leave it running and you're earning XP through misplay. But if you land a bonus, you're going to have to interact with the game. Granted, you don't have to do it immediately. Uh, there's been times when I've let I've left the bonus picker thing running for up to like two minutes, and it and it won't like you know just uh, stop earning XP. So yeah, but still, it is going to require a bit more, a bit more of your attention. Uh, for most things, I do recommend just leaving your phone next to you, 
plugging in the charger and just letting it rip or a tablet or whatnot. But that's how it is for Ted. Just going on like this. Instead of going on minimum bet, I have a crap ton of coins, so I ain't going to run out of money anytime soon. So I had a really good run with this one. But I had a really good run with other for the first cash band game, and I'm almost out of cash. <laughs> so there you go. That's how you do it with Hidden Rich. So let's stop this. Let's go back to... There you go. Go back to misplay. As you can see, I'm level 22, so I do earn a fair decent amount. All right, next one. House of Fun Slots. This is one of the big winners. Three in units and three in XP. So you get a good amount of bang for your buck with this one. Although I do believe, unfortunately, this is one of the games where I ran out of money, and it is. Oh, hooray. <laughs> I got all these prompts at the beginning, so let's close these out. Let's collect my free money, which is paint, which is peanuts. You'll see in a second here. Uh, no, no. Okay, so with this game, you also have your set of free spins here, or you can just collect in coins. So there you go. Sometimes they'll give you ten free spins in a game on minimum bet. You also have these chest things. Which is like collectible cards. Some casino games started doing this, I noticed. But so with these, you actually can use them to get these avatars. And from there, if you collect enough of them, you actually get, uh, you level them up and you earn coins for that. It's the only thing that matters here. Let's see, ooh, Jack Squat. Got nothing. All right, so let's close this out. So let's get into a game here. The one I always use here is Kitty Gems. Because this is completely passive. You don't need to interact with the game at all. Okay? So you just start up the game. You make sure you're on minimum bet. Yeah, collect more cherries, whatever. Move cash boner. Hold for auto spin. Sorry, right, 500. And then you go. You can just leave this thing running until you spin 500 times, which, depending on how many bonuses you hit, could be quite a long time. So I, I do love that part about this one. Uh, obviously, I'm not sure if you noticed that my next level up is at 70,000 experience, so I've been playing this one quite a bit. I think I'm at level 13 because of the fact that it pays so well. So I'll just leave this thing running for a while. Like If I know that I'm going to be away for a good amount of time, this is my go-to because I can leave this passive for a very long time. Betting at 50 and I have 21,000. At some point, I think I got to, to 10,000. So just keep spinning like that. Keep playing your daily daily and somewhat hourly bonuses. And you'll be fine as far as coins. All right. Next one. Heart of Vegas slots. Also known as high paying, half a unit and one for XP. Now you might be wondering why the heck I keep all of these if they pay at different levels. Well, at the beginning of a game's life or a low level, better said, it's easier to earn units because the XP goals are lower. And at some point you just start running out of money on one or more of these. So if you only had one or two, you might run out of cash, and you might not have anything to spin, quote-unquote, for quite a while. So that's why I do it, to make sure I always have at least a couple of casino games with money. Oh, hooray, fake money. To be able to spend then. Oh, yeah, let's go. No. So many more prompts, okay? Collect your free money up here. And this one, I actually like Pompeii. Deluxe. It's an old <laughs> minimum bet. It is a very, very old game. Slot came out at I can't. It can't be. Shoot, I think the original came out like in the seventies or eighties, something like that. So my minimum bet. Called here for auto spin. And again, thankfully, this is one of those very, very, very passive games. So I can just leave this thing running, and then it'll just run its course. Boat. It, it's kind of hit and miss with this one, actually, with bonuses. For the most part, I can just leave it going, and even with the bonus, it'll just spin on its own. But every once in a while, I will have to come back and check on it. But not very often. And the good thing about this one, in case you haven't noticed, the auto spin is not limited to any amount of spins. 
It'll just keep going forever until you run out of money. So keep an eye out on that one. I think that's how I lost my money in the other uh, game that looks like this. Oh my god, a bonus! I got nothing. But it's going to be able to play my win. No, never mind. So yeah, with this one, you just like leave it running like this. Ah, dang. Too bad I was going to get a bonus right there for you guys. So you just leave it running like this. And just walk away. Oh, there. See, there you go. And earn your XP. So there we go. All right. You have to hold it to cancel. <laughs> Let's get on to the next one. Sorry for the sniffles. Dang allergies. Wizard of Oz free slots. This one is good on units. Two and a half. Not too good on XP. Only half. Wizard of Oz is one I don't like a lot because it is one of the least passive games of the bunch. Yet this is the one that requires the most. One of the ones that requires the most attention because no, eh, whatever. Collect your one-hour bonus there. Oh hooray for the f free fake money, right? At one point, by the way, I'll make a review of the My Vegas games, which actually do offer real-world free comps and and money. I just came back from Vegas, like I mentioned, from Evo, and I got like 100 bucks of the free play from the app. So here we go. You start at the left when you first begin the game because the only game that's open, and it's the cheapest one, so guess what? That's where we stay. Because we're cheap at cash boner. We just want to make our damn money. Yeah, hey, sure, whatever. So I have it at minimum bet because you can't go to the left here to lower the money anymore. <laughs> so here we go. You hold it to auto spend. A good part is there's no minimum amount of auto spins. Yay. But the issue with the uh, all the games in this casino, because I played a few, not just this one. I, I like going back to this one because it's the cheapest one and I can just leave it running and not worry about running out of cash. It's the fact that once the bonus comes up, you have to interact. If you do not interact with it, the phone will just go, will take its while to go on the standby. And granted, you might think, well, okay, I had the phone plugged in. I'm just going to let it, I'm just going to turn standby off. I'm going to plug in the phone to the power, and that way it'll never turn off. That is true. But I've noticed that misplay somehow through its algorithm or whatnot knows when you've been inactive for far too long. I don't know how long that period is, but it does know. And at that point, it'll stop paying out XP. So you can't just leave this game alone. You have to babysit it every once in a while. Like I said, it's best if you have it close by, plug it into a charger, and just let it rip. But if you're looking for a completely passive one, this ain't going to be it. So yeah, so I'm going to stop here. Go on to the next one. I did not want to spin again, you stupid game. Next up, slot, second to last, technically, slot o mania Half and half, so not that good on this one. As I mentioned at the beginning, your game selection will vary. I used to have more slot machine games on here, more casino games. But some of them just freaking disappeared. I don't know what happened there. So, yeah. The struggle is indeed real. Again, I apologize for the sniffles. All right, here we go. No, no buying. No. Jeez, how many freaking prompts is that? And this one is another game that ran out of money. I, I did. Give me my mega bonus. So again, you go in here. You collect your money from this, from Lucy here. Ah. All these fake avatars. So I said to be, to make it look like attractive woman, huh? Okay, collect. Well, based on your preference, of course. Collect. Come on, give my free virtual money. I will no, because that's gonna cost money. No, I'm not gonna spend money. That's kind of productive. Gifts. Do I have any gifts? Free money? I got nothing. All right. So here. This one's also kind of semi-passive, so I like go into Vegas Cash. And this one's going to require more work also because... Yeah, you don't know what a real Vegas is, buddy. All right, so hold for auto spin. 200. 
And you just let it go like this until either you run out of money or, unfortunately, you run into a bonus because with a bonus, you have to pick an option. And if you don't pick an option, just like with uh, the Wizard of Oz slots, eventually it'll just go bust. Yeah. So, it's pain in the neck. Hey, look. Pump for nothing. But it's going to keep going like this. You know, riveting, huh? And there you go. That's my experience. This is my cue to stop. Boom. There we go. And time for a last one. An honorable mention. Technically not a casino game, but it is the GOAT, I think. Coin Master. Coin Master is not a casino game, but it runs on a freaking slot machine. So that's why I put it in here. And I'm not sure if you noticed. Four un four uh Four to total for XP and four total for units. It pays a crap ton. That's why currently I'm such high level and my next unit pay is until 130,000 XP. It's going to take a crap ton of time. So, basically on this one, you just spin the, you just play the spins here. You get, I'm not going to do daily bonus because I just want to finish this up. But you just do your spins and you make money off of it. Quote unquote. Coins. Which you will then use to build your village. Realistically, fix your village because people are constantly attacking it. And every once in a while, you will roll a, an attack or raid. And when you do that, you will attack or raid someone else's village. When you attack, you, you damage their buildings. And when you raid, you try to steal their money. So, in this one, if you leave the game with a lot of money stored up, by the time you're back in a few hours, it'll all be freaking gone. But it uses the slot machine, I'm assuming, as a way to prey on the addictive personalities of people. I don't know. But regardless, that's it for this one. I mean, it's said it pays damn well, and that's why I have it installed. I just keep it running. I mean, it might take some extra work, but it pays very well. So that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on other games, on other slot games. That, like I said, I ha used to have more of them. Hey, look, I just triggered an attack. Uh... Any other slot machine, any casino games? If you have a question, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've played all of them at this point. Cashman are the two newest ones, and those got added about a, three weeks ago. So please let me know. But again, thank you for joining me. Go out there, play some games, save some money, make some money. Don't get boned. Get boning. <laughs>